So up to date, date information on how they're supposed to bring it, who's ahead, what's happening. Um, and we update these using live feed um, all the time. If you scroll down a little further and ask you to pass things like the Wikipedia article, uh, you can find things like videos of pirates or news results from pirates. So there's lots of different reasons why someone might have put this query in Google, but we've taken all of these different kinds of results and we've found ways to uh, even prompt you to Somali pirates, just in case. Um, find, find these ways to combine the information together. This UI, the ability to put multiple kinds of universal search report for on one page, uh, launched very recently um, and went through a great deal of design effort and a lot of different permutations to figure how can we add even more information to the page without it being too cluttered or allowing for a specific email to do it. Here's another example. So teacup pigs are particularly small and adorable pigs. Um, and as you can see, it would be believed the most relevant results for teacup pigs are videos explaining them and how cute they are, um, or this image results on one box. So if you'll recall, on the previous page, we only showed you two images for pirates, and we had a UI for that. Here, we believe uh, images are particularly appropriate for this query, right? Like when I said teacup pig, probably had no idea what I was talking about because it's actually a very obscure internet meme. Um, for now, like, I you know, immediately hear your, your question to me. The next thing I want to uh, show is another new feature. Um, so Barack Obama has very difficult query to spell correctly. Um, so at the top of our page, we give you results for the exact query you gave us. But we at the exact same time you queried it, we actually ran two queries against the engine, or even more queries against the engine, and said, Barack Obama is actually probably what we're searching for, and we give you results down here. And in advocacy, we even incorporate universal results into those new search results we gave you. Um, little changes like this can seem really obvious. Of course, you want to run the spell correction through and not just prompt you for spell correction. But it, when you actually start thinking about the logistics behind it, we don't just handle billions and billions of queries per day. When we launch features like this, now we have to do twice as many queries every day. You literally have to scale for infrastructure dramatically in order to do these kind of features. Another thing that launched uh, very recently is something we call locationless universal. So uh, I, I was looking for gluten-free cereal because I recently gave up gluten. And I was like, where can I go buy health food in Boston? I'm usually at a Mountain View. I just don't want to do it. So I typed Trader Joe's into uh, my, the search box. And I didn't give it any contextual information. I didn't say I'm here in Cambridge. But we detected that I was here based on uh, my IP address. And we said, there's a, camp, there's a Trader Joe's really close to. Another change that happened very recently involved um, improving how quickly we give them information. So I went to Olin College. I was part of the first graduating class there. And right now, or very recently, there was a very gripping event in Olin, which was um, the college next door, Babson, was shut down because of the norovirus, uh, which is uh, causes a variety of uh, intestinal issues. Um, and I was getting these little IMs and watching the Twitter streams of my friends who are still in college. Um, and uh, there was actually an intern on the books team from last summer. And uh, I knew that norovirus was starting to creep into Olin. And these results are less than a week old, right? So April 3rd. Uh, so we haven't just found these new results on the internet. We've also been able to incorporate them into our index and detect this query is a time sensitive query. So we'll look at the patterns around how queries are given I know that we should show more fresh results for this query. Sometimes, though, just linking to the result isn't going to be good enough, or won't provide a good enough user experience for time-sensitive queries. Um, in California, we experience a lot of earthquakes. And one thing that we found is whenever the ground shakes, one of the first things people do is they type into their browser earthquake. They type in Google earthquake. Now, the problem is, the top result we give you is the, the US Geological Survey. The only problem is Google is much better at handling huge spikes in traffic um, than the US Geological Survey. And so routinely, people would type an earthquake, look on the first result, and crash the government servers. Um, and so we've worked with, with, the, with, with the USGS um, to make that information directly available on your Google search results page. So when an earthquake occurs, you don't even need to work on that. You don't need to crash their servers. We'll tell you exactly where the earthquakes happen, and we'll just see them on the map. Let's say, but at the same time, we hear a lot about all kinds of information. So while that's extremely timely information, we also want to have, we also want uh, to be able to, to harness uh, 
uh, older forms or offline forms of content. So I searched for how to organize your stock tour. Um, and this is a book called How to Organize Just About Everything. And I need to file above because we very rarely use this screen resolution on our own computers. And clearly there's a, a rendering error. So you guys see the screen cutting edge of Google. You launch early and iterate. Um, but if, if you could see, you know, that it's in a information on how to organize uh, stocks. Okay. And then another very large change that I recently launched um, is around uh, providing um, more guidance to users when they search. So, for example, if you search for principles of physics, we know that the Big Bang is related to principles of physics, or that Isaac Newton is related to physics. And we've given substantially higher quality refinements as a result. We found that users are, aren't, users are getting much better over time at formulating good queries, but there's a lot of, a lot of ways that can help them grow in their ability to uh, query information. And we believe that providing these kinds of suggestions help. One more change, one more feature I want to uh, highlight, and then we'll do a little bit of internationalization. Um, so sometimes when people put very long queries into Google, uh, this, uh, uh, the old style snippet, so these are just two lines, isn't enough to actually give you context on what, what, whether what, what the result is is what you want. So I've, I've searched for one of my favorite drinks out of my favorite cocktail cookbook, um, and it's from, it's from a bar it's called Absinthe in San Francisco. Um, and we've given longer snippets of these results so I can perceive which result is the most relevant for my query. We'll get two more. And these are just screenshots. I don't know how to type. There's, I, I don't know how to get them um, on my own. Uh, but one of the things that we've been working a lot with is how to make search more accessible for people who don't speak English um, or who have other input uh, issues. So this is not just just, just with transliteration. So uh, when people type in Latin characters, um, for example, often uh, TV speakers will type in on Latin keyboards, we can then prompt them with the, the actual script um, that they would have, they weren't have, uh, having a transliterate what they typed. We launched that recently, along with new home pages for a variety of geos, um, because we found that uh, users, uh, they're more culturally appropriate and users respond better. So no, not one Google everywhere, we're the most appropriate Google for our users, wherever we are. So, enough of that live, all that live stuff. So that's what's new. Um, but what's always going on is ranking. So we are incredibly, incredibly committed to ranking. Um, what brings me out here a week every month is I welcome the book search ranking team. Um, and we haven't figured out how to rank books well yet, so we're always working on unsolved problems. And similarly, we still have need web ranking for unsolved problems. But there are lots of things we can do to give our users more, uh, better answers um, and answers better and more appropriate to their context. So what is next? Um, keeping it at a high level, uh, we're going to keep improving relevance. Um, so just like our core web search keeps getting better, we're very committed to how to tweak those individual, individual, uh, individual universal components. Like that change with location was being a local universal. That was a big team effort in terms of making sure it was high quality. We're going to figure out how to expand our infrastructure so we can do even more searches in parallel, like that Barack Obama example. And we're going to continue to expand to so more context. So, for example, um, we see a lot of sessions in our logs right now, but we see someone repeat searches over and over again at different levels of alignment. So, for example, uh, they'll look for hair cutters, and they'll look for hair cutters, Palo Alto. And then they'll move on and they'll type hair cutters again, um, even or they'll write type uh, barber. Uh, but they won't remember to put in Palo Alto after they do the refinement. So we're trying to take more context to work and learn more information about a user earlier in their session. You can apply it to queries later on in their session. Um, we want to help users explore more. So that's like those refinements around principles of physics. Um, and we want to keep finding more ways of helping to guide users to find the information they're looking for. Um, and yet keep the UI simple and clean in the way that Google has always been. And then lastly, we want to improve our search results summary. Um, so figuring out how to show relevant metadata. Um, so for example, uh, if you search for a business or a restaurant, you might show what time it's open. Um, or include images or other information that would help people understand whether or not there's a great answer for them. And then uh, also create more appropriate snippets depending on what kind of result it is. So just like we were launching Introduce those new UI for images, the teacup pigs. Uh, we also want 